Hey girls, today coming at you with uh, the alternative girl tag. Um, I wasn't really sure what to film for you guys and then I saw another YouTuber did this and I thought it'd be quite fun to do. So let's give it a go. Also a quick side note, I'm wearing the same top and the same makeup and everything as a couple of other videos I filmed today and the reason being is that at the moment I'm not in uni so I'm working as and when um, my job need me so at the moment I've been doing like four or five days a week and then so the only time I get with my boyfriend is the weekend so I'm basically filming when I have a chance so that's why like on one day I might film like three or four videos so just a future a little I don't know a thing just to say that's why I look the same in some of my videos that's why um right so on with the tag anyways so the first question or the first thing, describe your style. Um, that's a really hard question because it depends on the day. Um, I'd definitely say dark, definitely say alternative, but it just depends how much effort I'm willing to put in that day. Sometimes I can go all out and then if I'm going all out my looks are quite like fetishy inspired. Lots of leather, lots of lace, lots of mesh. Um, like to wear shorter skirts and stuff like that. Um, I love big long boots. Um, yeah, and then if it's a lazier day, I'll still be wearing all black, but sometimes it might just be like a, a big black jumper and a cute little black skirt and some black tights and then some little black boots. Um, yeah, so it can just, it depends on what the day is, what I'm feeling, like the occasion, but it's definitely always all black. <laughs> Um, number two, how did you start wearing different clothes, hair, piercing, etc? Um, I was in my first year of college and <clears throat> before I was like alternative-y, um, my style icon was Kim Kardashian, as you guys probably know by now. Um, so my, the, my wardrobe was very monochromatic anyway, I only really wore white and black, sometimes a bit of grey. Um, so basically I started dressing alternative, like I already wore leather. Um, I used to wear like leather pencil skirts and stuff and then like little leather skirts but I used to wear them with blouses and stuff and like heels and then I slowly started filtering out any colour, um, started filtering out like the blazers and the like big handbags on my arm, um, gold jewellery, I like filtered out that kind of stuff slowly but surely and then started bringing in more. Before I was like gothy I was more emo style I would say so it was more band shirts um, yeah <laughs> so I just slowly started incorporating in what I liked it wasn't a sudden change and then I got my hair cut dyed it black and then I got my first piercing and then from there there was no sudden it just boom, 100 miles an hour piercings everywhere different hair colors all kinds of different crazy outfits um, yeah so that's how it all started Number three, do your parents accept your style? Um, generally I would say yeah, I mean, my dad finds it really funny, he's always like, oh what are you wearing now, what have you done now, like, stuff like that. I don't think he likes the facial piercings, he says I'll never get a job, but I'm on my third job now, so you can get a job. Um, my mum, I guess at first she was like, she's quite shy and she doesn't like the attention we get when we're out, but other than that she like, is happy that I'm happy. Um, Number four, have you ever suffered bullying for being different? I'm quite lucky in that um, I didn't discover that I was in this alternative style until I was in like college. Um, and at college, people don't really care what you look like. You might get some funny looks or some like weird comments and stuff, but nothing, nothing like if you were at like secondary school and being alternative. I know that there was alternative kids at my school who used to get picked on, but I wasn't part of that crowd. I wasn't part of that seen at all so I don't really know the depth of it I just know that they were picked on um, so I've never been seriously bullied for it I've just had like lots of rude comments from people and um, lots of weird comments from people but nothing like no serious bullying or anything um, what was the most outrageous look you've ever had um, oh god <laughs> that's a really difficult question I'd say I used to for college I used to overdress quite a bit um, when I was getting really into the whole goth scene, I would turn up to school in like the tight or college, the tiniest leather skirt I've ever seen in my life. That had like a, it was like asymmetric, so 
I was on show a lot and I used to wear fishnets and my big um, Demonias Swing 815s. Um, I've shown them in a previous video, I'm sure you all know what they look like. And then I'd wear like a little mesh crop top and I was not college appropriate at all but I thought I was the fucking shit. So um, I used to back comb my hair quite a bit. If you've seen Black Friday, I used to, I was very inspired by her hair so I did big full hair like that. I used to do full white face every day for college, the whole makeup, false lashes, teeth hair, everything. Um, nowadays I'm a bit more toned down but that's more to do with um, not having all the time to do that um, kind of stuff. And just because I don't feel like dressing up that much for uni. Um, number six, do you have or had any tattoos or piercings? Um, I've already done a piercings video, I don't know which one will go up first though, so I'll just recap in case that one isn't up first. I do have a nose piercing on either side, septum, cheek piercing and hip dermal. I used to have four hip dermals, I used to have a belly button piercing, I used to have snake bites, and I think that's it. Um, no tattoos as yet, they're really expensive and all my money seems to go on rent at the moment, which is really annoying, but definitely in the future there are tattoos to come. Number seven, what would you say to people who are suffering or being judged for the way they look right now? Um, on one hand, I would say, like, fuck it, who, like, no one gets to say what you get to wear or how you look, anything like that, it's up to you, I think. If it's, like, family and friends and stuff, like, screw them, they don't get a say in it. If they're a friend and they're, like, really cool and you and stuff like that, they're not good friends. But on the other hand, I want to say, like, be careful. Um, I know where I live, it's not too bad. People are douchebags, but I've never been, like, physically assaulted or anything like that because of the way I look. But I know some areas it's a lot harder to be your alternative sassy self um, out in public. So my number one thing would be be careful. Um, still be alternative, but maybe not super outrageous. I don't know. I would it's hard because I wouldn't want to tell anyone to stop being themselves but at the same time like people's safety is like the most important thing. Um, maybe if you're at school and stuff and you find it hard to express yourself at school, maybe keeping like a blog or having like an Instagram or something with all your cool looks and all your funky makeup and all the stuff like that. Like when you're not at school you can do all that kind of stuff and then upload it all so you've still got this record and you're still expressing yourself but just not like at school and stuff, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe that was helpful advice, maybe people are just thinking, shut the hell up please, like, go away. Um, I think, yeah, that's all the questions, there's only seven questions, I thought there was more than that. Um, yeah, really awkward end to a video there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the alternative girl tag. I wasn't tagged by anyone in particular, as I said, I just chose to do it. Um, so I tag any of you who want to do the, this tag, um, let me know if you do it and I'd love to watch it. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!